Scotty, thanks for inviting us up. I'm so, up here, I'm so far from home. I know, you must feel a little bit lost. Yeah. This has been a nice head off for me and warmed up and ready for it. Excellent. Feeling good? Brilliant. Now, we're looking for the best uh, routes in the UK and for gravel, there can't be anywhere better than this, surely. No, this is an amazing destination. So lucky to have it at my doorstep. We're going to ride out along the side of this lock. We're through the three forest drive, a little bit of a road transition. Then we're going to head up Glen Fingless and it's stunning up there. You've got amazing views, big panoramas and a really fast, fun descent. I've looked at the route on Camus and uh, yeah, there's certainly a big old climb in there. Is it a rideable climb? It's rideable jest. We'll definitely be out of the saddle. We'll be pushing, we'll be in top gear. Might be struggling a little bit for traction, but I have cleaned it, but that was on a good day. The great thing about Scotland as well is that we've got the right to roam. So basically we can go anywhere as long as we're being sensible, respecting where we're riding. We're not going through crops, farmyards, and there's no livestock. And how does that work with trail finding for you? If you can go anywhere, does it make it difficult to find routes or does it just mean you've got more choice? We've got pretty much a blank canvas. So it means that you can, you can basically start, you can set your starting point and then you can just look on the map and you can plot points, you can link it all up and commute is a perfect way of navigating to find them. So Scotty, most of your time has been spent as as a mountain biker, as a professional racer. So how does it come to be that you're, uh, you're finding the gravel these days? Is it a new thing for you? Are you gonna switch over or is it just a, a bit of uh, extra on the side? I'm not sure if I'd say I'm gonna switch over. I love just riding my bike. I love the adventure side of things. I love going new places and modern day gravel bikes are an, they're an amazing tool for it. You can go so many different places. Like I've done a few rides recently where I'd actually ride trails normally in that area and on the gravel bike, I've linked up a huge day. It kind of maps through and it just, it just shows you a different side of things. And uh, a great tool for the job today in the new Scott Addict. We've both got green bikes, but we've gone, uh, gone slightly different routes to uh, what we're riding today. I'm on a, on a traditional steel Fairlight Farron here with 650Bs, big tires. You've gone for a beautiful carbon nine kilo. Um, yeah. Well, it's a race gravel bike really, isn't it? So uh, I'd say it's a pretty racy gravel bike, definitely. I mean, this thing's aerodynamic, it's lightweight. It's got pretty, pretty aggressive geometry. Got a nice fork rake to give you a bit of balance, a bit of comfort. Got chunky tires, or they're pretty chunky tires to me anyway, compared to like a, almost compared to what you're riding in fact, mm. because when I look at your tires, they're really smooth in the center. Be fast rolling of some of this stuff, but this has got a good bit a bit of aggressive Good side bit of knots. bite when we get up to the yeah. steep stuff. So when you're planning a route, Scotty, what do you look for? What's, what's, what's your perfect gravel route look like? You know, I probably want a bit of up and down. I'm really looking for the descents. That's, that's what I love riding, yeah. like nice, fast flowing descents. And the good thing about Camus is that it's community highlight based. So people can actually add in photos, they can add in comments, they can suggest things. So you can link those up. You can look for them when you're actually planning that route and then you can link them together, follow it around. And you can also, the other really good thing about Kamut is the fact that you can actually work out what way types you're riding on. So you've got tarmac, you've got dirt roads, um, single track, and between all that, you can actually make a really, really good route really easily, yeah, no so matter yeah, where you are. Yeah, and you get a really good idea of what you're gonna be riding on before you start. Yeah. So I've had a look at your route and I can see that um, there's loads of unsurfaced stuff on it, a good bit of single track as well, which is presumably this bit along the lock. Yep. And then a big old climb. A big climb, followed by a big descent, and then we've got some really nice single track. It kind of, it kind of finishes along this lock side right here, and it, it's really fun. There's a few points where you definitely need kept on your toes. And there must be loads of gravel riding around here. I mean, obviously this isn't the only loop you can do. There's so much. I mean, both sides of the hills, there's just vast amounts of gravel roads. It's all rideable. You can link it up to various different places. Might be a little bit bog prone to do at times, but yeah, there is so much. And then Aberfoyle, we were talking about that earlier. On the other side of Aberfoyle, there's this, it goes for miles and miles, and you've got the Badger Divide coming through parts of this as well. You can kind of look down the valley there and you can kind of get an idea of where we're going. Yeah. What the terrain's like. A little drop into the single track now and then uh, along the side of the lock.
fantastic. Our roads run out. So it's proper gravel from now on, is it? Yeah, full on gravel. Yeah. We've got a pretty, I'd say a pretty tough climb ahead of us. It's really steep. When well, you show me the climb going up the back of that. I mean, mountain. you can see it from here, it's <laughs> steep. There's some really, really tough sections on it. The last time I rode it, it was pretty rocky under yeah. your wheels and uh, getting grips going to be a So a technical course. challenge as well as a physical challenge. Then. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm looking forward to that then. But then once we get to the top, the view is just, the view is absolutely incredible. You're kind of in the middle of nowhere. There's no phone signal. You really, you know, you really feel like you're in the elements. You must be able to see all the way down this valley as well. See, see all the way down. You can see the, all the way on the other side as well. Yeah. And then once you're at the top, the best part is you've got an amazing descent to look forward to as well. Uh, brutal at times it's yeah. hard work but I mean what what an amazing place so it looks so remote and amazing to find a trail that's this good that goes to somewhere that just is in the middle of nowhere yeah it's a proper hard climb yeah it's so rewarding like coming up here no one here perfect track and then you've just got views for basically as far as you can see yeah you can't see another living soul for tens of miles can you it's yeah. crazy absolutely no sign of civilization the nearest village is is well over the other side of those hills and yeah we're just in the wilderness it's stunning that's beautiful and what a day for it i mean couldn't have asked for a better one no absolutely lovely What do you reckon then? Well, well, no word of a lie, that is one of the best gravel rides I've ever done. Amazing, amazing area, and so much more you can see as well, so much more to do, so many different rides you can do. I know, what's amazing for me, showing you that ride, is that the first time I did it, didn't really have that many expectations. I planned on commute, I checked it out, knew that there was gonna be a tough climb, we came to the top of it, and then that long descent, it completely surpassed all of my expectations, and I'm so happy that you've enjoyed it yeah, as much as I did. Um, I'm going to go and put some highlights. I think it's all highlights, isn't it? This yeah, one. I think that, I mean, even the climb is a highlight. Yeah. It's a struggle, but the achievement is so high from it. And then that descent is cracking. Yeah. Should we go to the pub and do that? Absolutely. There we go. That was one of my favorite local gravel rides to do. You can check the link for the route on Commute in the description below.